Don't rejoice, Israel. Don't enjoy yourselves as other peoples do, for you have gone whoring away from your God. You love being hired as a whore on every green floor. Threshing floor and winepress won't feed them. A new wine will disappoint her. They won't remain in the land of Adonai. Instead, Ephraim will return to Egypt, and they will eat unclean food in Ashur. They will not pour out wine offerings to Adonai. They will not be pleasing to him. Their sacrifices will be for them like mourners' food. Everyone eating it will be polluted. For their food will be merely to satisfy their appetite. It will not come into the house of Adonai. What will you do at a designated time, on a day which is a festival for Adonai? For suppose they escape the destruction, Egypt will round them up, Memphis will bury them, and their precious treasures of silver? Nettles will possess them, thorns will be in their tents. The days of punishment have come, the days of retribution are here, and Israel knows it. Yet they cried, The prophet is a fool, the man of the spirit has gone crazy, because your iniquity is so great, the hostility against you is great. The watchman of Ephraim is with my God, but a prophet has a fowler's snare set on all his paths, and hostility even in the house of his God. They have deeply corrupted themselves, as in the days of Giv'ah. He will remember their guilt, and he will punish their sins. When I found Israel, it was like finding grapes in the desert. When I saw your ancestors, it was like seeing a fig tree's first figs in its first season. But as soon as they came to Ba'ar Bo'or, they dedicated themselves to something shameful. They became as loathsome as the thing they loved. The glory of Ephraim will fly away like a bird. No birth, no pregnancy, no conception. Even if they raise their children, I will destroy them till none is left. And woe to them when I leave them too. Ephraim, as I see it, is like Zoh, planted in a pleasant place. But Ephraim will bring out his children to the slaughter. Adonai, give them. What will you give? Give them wombs that miscarry and dried up breasts. All their wickedness was already there in Gilgal. That's where I came to hate them. Because of the wickedness of their deeds, I will expel them from my house. I will love them no more. All their leaders are rebels. Ephraim has been struck down. Their root has been dried up. They will bear no fruit. Even if they do give birth, I will kill their cherished offspring. My God will cast them aside because they wouldn't listen to him. They will become wanderers among the Goyim.